Welcome to Minding Your Business, the show for just absolutely incredible social, business, and musical, artistic entrepreneurs. I'm your host, June Middleton. All of the wonderful talent that we have and the guests that we have on our show are entrepreneurs in one form or another. And they are either sole proprietors or they might be partners, limited or general. And they are also corporations in their form, business form, or they might be a limited liability company. We have them all, and they're all entrepreneurs in one form or another. And this evening, before we have the pleasure, we're going to talk about corporations, but we also have fantastic talent on this evening's show. We have, and you will have the pleasure of meeting the Janes Trio are exceptionally talented entrepreneurs who are with us this evening. So let's just quickly revisit uh, what we've already talked about some. Let's revisit the corporation, which can be the most complex form of business. Uh, it's not expensive to form, but it's expensive to maintain. Uh, that is the C corporation, which I'm sure many of you have heard about. But there's also the S corporation, and of course, the not-for-profit corporation which some corporations come that way, even though the owners don't intend for it. But that's another issue. So we've talked about the, car, the C corporation, which is a fictitious person. It's considered and called a creature of the state. And it can exist forever, in perpetuity. It, for example, you think of a company like the great uh, Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. You don't know it that way. You know it as what's now. A and P, or Food Emporium, and they have a couple of other uh, stores. Then that was formed way before we were even around. And but the corporation itself is still in existence. And this is what happens with corporations. Uh, corporation has shareholders, who are the owners. But the corporation itself is a separate legal entity. It can operate independent of the shareholders. It can buy property. It can make contracts. It can lease property. And, but it also can be publicly held. Some of you probably already own stock. Uh, and if you are a shareholder, the corporation will exist whether you hold your stock or you sell it or you just leave the corporation or unfortunately leave this earth. So. As I said, the corporation is a separate entity from its owners and can make contracts. And if the corporation distributes their profits, though, you have to pay tax on them if you're a shareholder. This is called double taxation because the corporation itself also has to pay taxes. And this is what's led to the formation of the S Corporation, which is like a partnership where you have passed through taxation. The uh, corporation itself forms the same way and is formed the same way as a regular C corporation. But it then goes to the IRS and says, please, kind sirs, can we have passed through taxation so we don't have to pay tax twice? And if the corporation that you have formed as an elect to form as an S corporation has less than 100 shareholders, and everyone is a U.S. resident or a U.S. citizen, then for the most part, the IRS will allow you to form that S corporation and you can avoid the double taxation. The corporation, again, whether it's S or it's C's or C corporation, gives the shareholders limited liability protection. And the shareholders are not personally responsible for any debts or obligations of that particular corporation. There are a few exceptions. If you don't pay, if the corporation doesn't pay its payroll taxes, they'll come out to the shareholders for them. But that, for the most part, is the only real um, disadvantage of the C corporation besides the double taxation, which is called, as I said again, but I'll say it again, it is what's called pass-through taxation. The corporation doesn't pay tax, 
just the shareholders pay tax if you're an S corporation. And again, it has the same kind of limited liability as the C corporation has. So it's something that is certainly worth considering if you are going to incorporate. Uh, it's formed by filing with the Department of State, just like the C corporation is. And again, it's given the S corporation status by the Internal Revenue Service, our wonderful friends in the federal government. You have to make a special request, and that there are certain requirements. As I said, you can only have 100 shareholders, and you have to be U.S. citizens or U.S. residents. And that's all that's involved with it, and you will avoid having the corporation itself paying taxes. So it has just been um, something that has been in existence to help smaller corporations who want to really have limited liability protection, but they want to act as a partnership. And we'll talk more about the S Corporation on future shows. Our special guests this evening who are formed, and we'll talk to them somewhat about that, as really kind of a partnership, and they are all professionals in their chosen fields, but together they are a dynamic and dynamite vocal trio who have performed musically on off Broadway and around the world for several years. The three-part harmony of Sula Haska, Christine Rank, and Patty Weiss is extraordinary. They have a fabulous cabaret act, and they play here in Manhattan, off times, and they are a, an act that channels the music of singers from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, such as the Boswell sisters, the McGuire sisters, the Andrew sisters, and they will absolutely astound you. And we have them here on our show, which I am just delighted that it's happened. I am so happy to present to you, for you to see, hear, and experience the Janes Trio. Choo choo to Broadway, foo Cincinnati. Don't get icky with the one, two, three. Life is just so fine on the solid side of the line. Biff, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Foo Riyakasaki wants some seafood. Mama, shrimps and rice are very nice. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Foo Riyakasaki wants some seafood. Mama. Shrimps and rice, they're very nice. I like oysters, lobsters too. I like my tasty butterfish food. When I come home late at night, I get my favorite dish, fish. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Furia Kazaki wants some seafood. Mama, shrimps and rice, they're very nice. Ba -da -ba -da. Want some seafood, Mama? Shrimps and rice are always very nice. Furia, 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 Kasaki wants some seafood, Mama. Oh, won't you give it to me? Cause I'm as happy as can be when the seafood comes to me. Ba da dum, ba da dum, ba da dum. I like oysters, lobsters too. Ba da dum, ba 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 da da. When I come home late. My favorite dish, fish. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Food, Yakasaki wants some seafood, Mama. Shrimps and rice, they're very nice. Hold tight, won't you hold tight, hold tight. Food, Yakasaki wants some seafood, Mama. Shrimp is a hen run, it's all very nice. I like oysters, lobsters too. I like my tasty butterfish, Joe. When I come home late at night, I drip, drip. 
drip dripping on a window pane. Wash it, hold tight, but on a day, hold tight. I want some seafood, mama. Shrimps and rice uh, are very nice. Too. I like my tasty butterfish food. When I come home late at night, I get my favorite dish, fish. Hold tight, 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 hold tight. Hold tight. Want some seafood, oh mama, shrimpers and rice, oh hold Is your name? My name is Sula Haska. I'm Christine Rank. And I'm Patty Weiss. Terrific. It's so nice to have you here. It Thank really you. Is. Thank you for having and us. And my thanks to Mr. B, Bob Bruno, for setting, <laughs> arranging for me to meet you yeah, and have yeah, you on our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Great thanks to him. So, Sula, let's start with you. Uh, you specialize, interestingly enough, in adult education during the day. Yes. And you work with a teaching uh, or case managing program for adult uh, education participants over 21? Yes, I work for the New York City Department of Ed in oh. the adult education program and I'm a case manager. We, our population is 21 and above. And, How uh, interesting. Well, I mean, you, you don't sing to your students, I'm sure. Oh, yes, I do. Do you really? <laughs> she does. Yeah. She does. She does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, well, yes. how long have you been singing? Did you grow up in a musical family? Yes, uh, my mother was a concert pianist, and she was also in the community theater. And my grandmother also was an opera singer on oh. the radio. Oh. So music was always part of our upbringing. We used oh. to entertain our neighbors and oh. things oh. of the sort. Reminds yeah. me of my family yeah. growing up. Yeah. 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 Now, you've done recordings? Yes, and... yes, I have. Uh, I was claimed as being the first female rap singer. You're um, kidding. With, uh, a, tune called Jungle Rap in 81. Oh my gosh. Um, so, yeah. Oh my gosh. And this album, are you on it? Or is this something that the three of you have had uh, been participated in or something? Yes, we're yes. All, all three of us are on it. Oh, that's uh -huh. great. That's wonderful. Okay, we'll have to take another uh, look at that a little later on. So, um, this is now your, what, how many years have you been singing together? 40. 40. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> don't count the no, number. Don't count. Yeah. And, uh, you we, really uh, caught me off guard with that. <laughs> Christine. I was the last one to audition for this group. Really? We started out as five uh, with two men, and then and that was in 1975. Oh. Oh. And uh, we've been, the three of us in different forms have been singing together for since then. Oh, well, this is great because I wanted to talk to you yes. uh, next. Anyway, you are Dr. Rank. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. She's Dr. a doctor. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh -huh. do you have a PhD in music or a in, social no, work? No, in, uh, in uh, psychology. Oh, Dr. Rank, I have this problem. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you were involved with a lot of survivors of 9-11, weren't you, also, in doing uh, trauma work? Yes, I'm in I'm private practice. I, my specialty is trauma, so I treated oh, a lot of the survivors and the firefighters. Fascinating. But how yeah. long have you been singing professionally? And that's quite uh, a change yeah. from dealing with um, trauma patients, Yes, sure. well, um, I, I, I went uh, in college. I was a, a music major, and then I fell in love with performing, I came to New York to do that. Mm -hmm. And then that's Sula and Patty's. I mess, met them very early on. And then, but eventually I wanted to switch and do something something more. Well, so. well you certainly have accomplished that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and beautifully. Uh, thank you. Patty, welcome oh, to the you. show. It's so nice to have you here. Thank and you. And you worked on a cruise line. We were talking oh. a little bit about it before we started. <laughs> yes. So I know that it wasn't the, the most exciting time. But well, no, it is a very, I got to see the world. Oh, that's I saw great. You the went world. To, from Cairo to, or I from? I was from Singapore to, to Cairo. Singapore to Cairo. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that it must was, have been it interesting. Was, and that includes China. And this was in 
the early 80s. So, I mean, we went to Shanghai, and yeah. Shanghai was... Different. <laughs> My words <laughs> fail me completely. <laughs> no, everything was in from the 40s. Like, the telephones yeah, were like yeah, they were yeah. from the 40s. The right, cars right, right. were that from the 40s. Wow. They say that experience. about Cuba. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. go to mm -hmm. Cuba mm -hmm. and you get now, that. Now, you also play the flute. Or did you study the flute? I did. Uh, I did. Do you still play? No. Okay. It's in my closet. Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> you do jingles, and have you worked on jingles? Oh, commercials? yes, jingles mm -hmm. and a uh, lot of soundtracks. A&R Music Services, we're a Broadway house. It, uh, we do, we fix the music for Broadway shows. My brother-in-law likes to call me a musical mechanic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is terrific. And speaking of musical mechanic, I think we should hear some more music from oh, the, yes. the three of you. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shall reign forever and ever, and he and shall, shall reign forever and ever, forever and he and shall reign forever, forever and ever, King of Kings, forever and ever, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and Lord of Lords, forever and ever, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lords, King of Kings. Forever Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Did you perform this at the event that you did on October 25th? Yes, we oh, did. that must have been really outstanding. Right down the house. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Yeah. And this is um, sponsored by the Three Tomatoes, and it has something to do with women at the, um, the who are UN women. UN women and girls are being supported 
for uh, to get uh, education. Oh, that. that's terrific. Yeah. That is wonderful. Now, we have a, a surprise, a, a gentleman who's going to join you uh, on the trombone, and I'd like very much for him to come and join us and for you to introduce him and to introduce also our terrific keyboardist. Well, our keyboardist is Stu Waters. He is tremendous. We love him dearly. <laughs> and I know, Stuart, you are classically trained, and it comes through. You yes, can hear yes, it. Yes, I am. Uh, classically trained, and then got involved in jazz and blues. And How did you get drawn things. to jazz from the classics? I know this happens so often. Sometimes you're just drawn into it. You just, you just yeah. love it, and you start to listen to it, and you want to play it. Uh, yeah. And you started playing professionally at age 13? I did. Wow. Wow, wow. And what are you, about 20 now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you're, very you're, nice. Very, you're very good. <laughs> you really are good. Edmund, how nice to have you here. No, hey, what yes, is this is Ed Mike? Chenick. I'm sure. He is our trombone player, and I would also like to say he's my husband. Oh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. You do a lot of arranging uh, of their music, don't you, as uh, well? Yes, I do. Oh, that's great. And you have such an impressive background. Do you have, uh, you have an advanced degree? Are you a PhD? Or? Yeah, I do. Ah, in, in music, music, music or? Music composition. Oh, that's wonderful. That is what, you went to the, uh, where? Uh, uh, University of Michigan. And you went to music school also? Yes, at the University of Michigan. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, it's delightful, wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much Thank for you, coming. So you have a piece that you uh, are going to do with them, but just at this point, um, we are running out of time, believe it or not. So uh, I want to thank you all for being my guests this evening. This has been such a treat. For certainly for me and for our viewers. And thank you to our wonderful crew. And of course, a very special thanks to Rich here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network for making this show possible. You have been watching Minding Your Business, a show for really incredibly talented and outstanding entrepreneurs. And I'm your host, June Middleton, and see yourself where you want to be. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say good night, sweetheart. Good night. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. Baby, I just can't treat you right. Well, I hate to leave you, baby, don't mean maybe, because I love you so. Good night, sweetheart, well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart, well, it's time to go. Good night. We still have a little bit of time left, so let's really close the show with your hot number okay. of crazy people. Ma, ba, ba, ba. Crazy people, crazy people, crazy. 
crazy people like me go crazy over people like you. Goofy people, daffy people, daffy people like me go crazy over the things you do. When we are underneath the moon, the moon above, you got me acting just like a loony and must be love, sweet love. Crazy people, crazy people, crazy people like me go crazy over people like you. Crazy people like people like you. Crazy people like the things you do when we are under the moon. The moon above, you got me acting just like a loon. It must be love. People like you, cause lovebirds of a feather always flock together. It's an old, old custom of the heart that keeps folks from drifting apart. Now that's the reason, maybe, that I call you baby. We're each other's counterpart. Crazy people, crazy people, crazy people, crazy people, crazy people like me go crazy over people like you. Wow, goofy people, goofy people, daffy people, daffy people, daffy people like me go crazy over the things you do. Wow, don't mind if I rave a lot, sweet angel child. It's just a habit I got. You drive me wild. Crazy people, crazy people, crazy people. People, crazy people like me go crazy over people like you. Wow. Goofy people, goofy people, daffy people, daffy people, daffy people like me go crazy over the things you do. Wow.